I have been waiting to make this video for a long time. We're going to open up this box. You're going to see what's in it. And then we're going to talk about it a little bit. So let's get to it. Do it soft bait essential series starter kit. That's right. I'll unpack that in a little bit. And I'll unpack that in just a minute. Inside of this box, if I can figure out how to open it, how does it open? Is there an easy open? Oh, this way. Maybe? First bottle of Plastisol. Uh, I don't know what that is, I'll open it after. Chartreuse colorant, watermelon green. And in addition, four ounce injector. Uh, I've got motor oil colorant and June bug. And some baits, bait bags, and an extra nozzle for my injector. Now what's in here? I think this is my glitter. Uh, oh, sticky. I've got some gunmetal flake and copper, copper flake. So there you have it. I gotta start making some soft plastics. I had this idea for a very long time. Um, and really it, uh, it came down to me having a lot of time to watch videos and do research and uh, look at a lot of stuff online while I was deployed last year. During some of my downtime, I would watch video after video after video after video of guys making soft plastic lures at home in their garages, in their basements, doing whatever. And uh, it really, it really solidified the fact that I wanted to give it a try. So a year, over a year later, here I am with my own starter kit to make some soft plastics. Really, I have uh, Chris Jones from the World's Worst Fishing to thank for that. Um, I've, I think I might have watched almost all of his videos and uh, he's really good at it. He's, he, he talks about it a lot, about how he does things. He's not one of those guys that uh, kind of hoards that knowledge. He likes to share everything he does and uh, you know how he does it and why he does it and stuff like that. Um, so if you're interested in pouring soft plastics uh, then you should head over to his channel and check it out because he's got some really good stuff. So let's talk about these molds for a minute. This one here is the Gary Yamamoto Senko 5 inch mold. Um, apparently Do It got a license from Mr. Yamamoto himself to produce this. Um, so I don't know, that's pretty cool. A 3 inch ripper, which is just a little paddle tail swim bait. And uh, boy. I'm excited to, to pour these. Really excited. This is a five cavity mold. Ah, that's cool. I thought it was a three cavity mold. Beautiful. Did you guys hear that? Oh well. Anyways, let's continue. So I guess the only thing left to do is pick out what color I want to do for my very first pour and uh, cook up my plastic. So I got my colorant here. I'm gonna do motor oil and my copper glitter. Safety first on my safety glasses. Get my gloves on. So I'm gonna just, just give this a good shake. probably good it smells like a plastic bait so now to start I'm just gonna start with four ounces not a cup and I think that that's probably gonna be enough for my mold so I'm just gonna pour this out here 
We'll measure out a half a cup, four ounces. So I'm going to pop this in my microwave. Do 30 second increments, but before I start my microwave, the fans are going on. Don't want to breathe this stuff in if you can avoid it. So I'm going to start with a 30 second increment and see where that gets my bait or gets my plastic. Starting to get a little clearer there now. Let's check our temperature like that. That's 250. Oh yeah, it's starting to gel up real good. Let's see, it's starting to. Uh, you can see the steam coming off there now. Oh yeah. Now that's looking more like what I would have expected to see in. You know all the bait making videos that the guys have out there this very clear plastic what's my temperature 292 maybe i'm going to add some of the colorant in here now Oop, one two three four five six we'll give that a little stir see how that does Clean off my knife. What's our temperature? 276. It's already dropped 10 degrees since I took it out. So let's put it in another 25 seconds. See how that goes. All right, so now we're at about 353. That's perfect. I'm going to add just a little bit of this glitter here. That's weird. Okay, well, I guess I'll just dump a little bit out here. Oh. oh, I got glitter everywhere. That's bad. Okay, note to self, turn the fan off before you turn, put the glitter in next time. looking pretty good last time hopefully all right we're gonna give her we're there let's give it a try oops let's just see how well this does like that okay I've drawn up almost all my plastic. Now I'm just going to push it out. I don't know. If oh no. Okay, so obviously my plastic wasn't hot enough yet. So that's ruined. I tell you what, that injector is very hot. So now I have to wait for this to set and then put all that stuff in the microwave again. But it sets up so quickly. already started to peel off here I think because I have the fans going it's cooling my plastic down a lot faster than I expected to it 
So now I'm at 135 degrees. Boy, oh boy. This is uh, not as easy as people like Chris Jones make it look. I'll tell you that much. Let's go 25. And I'm sure whatever's in here looks like a whole whack load of... No way. I can't believe it. Damn, these don't these don't look half bad. <laughs> I totally thought that I messed up that shot. But look at that. That's a nice looking bait. <laughs> it takes almost no plastic to do these. So now I get to see how much, how many of these I can get out of four ounces of plastic. Oh, wait, wait, wait. This one's, this one's okay. This one has a big hole in the middle. So there's a big air bubble right in the middle of this one. But this one turned out pretty damn good. Man. That's great. So I'm going to keep reheating this plastic and see how, how much I can get out of it. And uh, this one I'm going to put into... I've got a little bath of water here. I'm going to put... I'm going to put it into there. So we'll be back when I start shooting the next one. see if I can get a full demold of five of these ES ripper baits. All right, moment of truth for my first full shoot. Oh, oh looks like I got Looks like I got my first one. My first full shoot. There's two. Be careful with these tails. I don't know how flimsy these things are. So I definitely don't want to just like rip the tails off. You know what I mean? Put the sprues aside. I don't feel any big, I don't feel any air pockets. And that one. That one. Or that one. Or that one. <laughs> man, oh man. I gotta tell you, this is, this is something else. Making your own baits. Feels good. It feels good. There's five. Five ES rippers. Maybe I should call them something else. What should I call these things? The three inch ribbed paddle tail baits. Well, guys, that's pretty cool. <laughs> 
I can make my own paddle tail swim baits. And for bass season, which starts in about four weeks here in uh, southern southeastern Ontario, I've got a stick bait mold. I mean, technically it's a Senko. One thing I did notice though, that's kind of lame, uh, but whatever. Do it actually will have their uh, little logo imprinted on the worm there. So, you know, that's okay. Just starting out, these are two great molds to have. Man, I'm really impressed with them. So here's what I want from you guys. What should I name this guy right here? This is the Do It ES Ripper. It's a three inch one. I want to name it something else because I don't know, I do. So what would you guys like me to call this? Leave a comment in the comment section below and uh, maybe after a while, I'll pick the name that I like the most. And maybe I'll send a couple of these to uh, whoever gives me the winning name. Yeah, I think that's what I'll do. So I've got six of them there, right there. Maybe I'll, uh, maybe I'll give those ones away. Maybe I'll give, make some more and give some more away. So that's it. Thanks for watching. I hope you like this kind of content. I plan on making a lot more different kinds of lures. And, um, oh, <laughs> did you see my wife? She's laughing at me. So I plan on making all kinds of different lures and there's like the, the possibilities are endless. Um, you can make your own hand pour lures uh, to do some stuff. And I plan on doing a lot of that too. Uh, so I hope you like the video. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.